Hey there, welcome back to the second part of Android database management. So in the previous one, we created the three main components and now let's use them to make a connection, to establish a connection to the database and insert some records. First thing we need to declare a database variable, private late init var db of type app database. And in the onCreate method, let's initialize it here. So this DB would be initialized with the room dot database builder. We give it the context, then the app database class, and the table name or the database name, add records as we named it in the previous video. Now just called build and we just established the connection with the database. Now in the save function, let's create a record and save it to the database. So scroll back, scroll down to the save function just here. We need few things. First thing, the file name that we have it here in new file, then the file path. This is just same thing as this line here. Then we need a timestamp. We get it from dates with the capital T dot time. After this, we need a, the amplitude file path. It should be the same thing as the file path without the MP3 extension. So in order to be able to retrieve the amplitudes, we need to sort them in this location. So remember when we stop recording, we get back the amplitudes in this file. And when the timer ticks, we need to get the duration and save it somewhere. We'll create another variable duration and give it the duration. But remember, our timer has three sets of numbers. We only need the two first ones so let's remove the last three characters with the wrap last three method. Now let's create a duration variable on top level. Private var duration empty string. Now let's get back to the save function. And here we need to save our amplitudes into list. Why we do this? Because we'll be using the media player to play our records and this function doesn't or this class doesn't allow us to extract amplitudes. So we need to save them somewhere and use them to have a waveform when playing the, reg the audio record. To do this, uh, let's start a try block. Here we need a file output stream. And this one needs the file path, amplitudes path. The second thing is an output stream, object output stream, and it needs the file output stream. Now we write an object in it. And this object is a list of amplitudes. Once we're done, we close everything. And we catch some exceptions and do nothing with it. Now we save the arrow list into a file. Now let's create the record, add a record and give it first thing the file name, new file name, then the file path and the timestamp. After this, the duration and finally amplitude path. We're ready to insert it to the database. So some tasks are resource intensive and if executed on the main UI thread, 
it may cause a bad user experience. Hence, we should run them in a background thread. The DB insertion is this kind of task. So let's use the global scope that launch function. And this will perform the task in the background thread. Just call db dot agile record data access object and call the insert method on it. The insert method needs the record. And that's it. We're done with this part. Let's test it. When we hit the save button or the done button, we call this function and everything is generated and saved into the database. Here, start recording, hit done, keep the same name and it seems to work. So in the next video, we'll deal with this button to show a new activity with all the audio records inside the recycle view. See you then.